only on two heartless thieves targeting a cemetery in Rosenberg. They are stealing decorative vases worth hundreds of dollars right off of grave sites. Our Jonathan Martinez is at the Davis Greenlawn Funeral Chapel and joins us now with the families who want these guys caught and caught soon. Jonathan? Yeah, Dominique, a pretty frustrating situation. This man tells us he's not just upset because it happened to his loved one, but it appears to have happened to many others who were buried out here. And tonight he's got a message for the cemetery along with what he believes are thieves. Anybody on this side, they're secluded. A place meant for comfort and peace is instead leaving some feeling uneasy as of late. Nobody can see what's happening on this side. That's why I think all the thefts are taking place on this side right here. That includes Bobby Suar, who has several relatives buried at the Davis Greenlawn Cemetery. Somebody needs to sit up and take notice. Suar says his uncle's vase was stolen from his graveside here some time ago, but it was a recent visit to the cemetery for someone else's funeral. He took note of just how many other vases had gone missing. My wife and I started walking this way, and we, as we were walking toward my mom and dad's grave to look at it, we noticed more have disappeared since the last time we were out here. And the cost to replace one of those vases, including his own uncle's, Zwar says over 500 bucks, according to the cemetery. Reason enough for him to want them to do something about it. I think the thefts are happening at nighttime, and I've asked for them to gate the entrances up. We've talked to some of the people here associated with this cemetery, and as far as I know, nothing is happening. As for the people Zwar believes are responsible for stealing, he wants him to reconsider targeting something so sacred, or better yet, be caught before it ever happens again. You know, it's hallowed ground. It's a cemetery, and you got to be pretty low life to be stealing vases off of graves. And today we did reach out to the cemetery to see if they talked to us about this story, but so far they had no comment for us. Reporting live tonight from Rosenberg, I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.